I am Reverend Anyard from the St. Lucia Circuit. The work of a deacon is to set up, be set apart for service. And service can be of any nature based on the need of the community, the church, a home, whatever. And therefore, as a deacon, you go into the community, especially the Porvish community, where you can give assistance to bring newness to the lives of people. And I deal a lot with young men, young women, and also family members who will tell their stories and they just need someone to listen to them. So my task, even though sometimes challenging, is very humble as a deacon. I also work in the Methodist schools. We have two Methodist schools, the TD Gordon Methodist and the Forest Air Combine. And in, at these schools, we try to work with the children who have delinquent behavior, those who would be probably in need of love, sometimes correction, but we use it in a, in a crafty way so that the children don't see it as being um, a discipline but one way where they can understand, to think out of the box, instead of doing X, how can I do Y? So that the change can come from them and not the deacon or the teacher telling them what to say, but they can begin to think and move in a positive direction. I am Reverend Greta St. Hill, deacon in the Grenada Circuit of the Methodist Church of the South Caribbean District. I was recently ordained in the diaconate in Barbados in the Bethel Methodist Church on January 19, 2020. I am currently serving as chaplain to our five schools in Grenada, the Wesley College School, which is a secondary school, the only secondary school in the South Caribbean district, as well as four other primary schools, the four primary schools, which is Warburn Primary, St. George's Primary, um, Constantine Primary, and St. Andrew's Primary, all Methodist schools. I also assist the superintendent in pastoral duties to the Guave Congregation and to the Bogus Methodist Church in Karaku. These different opportunities afforded me the uh, ability to use my task in assisting persons in helping themselves, what I term as giving them a hand up, up the ladder of success. In Grenada, we have many communities where persons are really suffering in that they're, they're suffering spiritually as well as socially. And that is really hindering um, their progress in life. I believe the church in Grenada, the Methodist Church in Grenada is strategically positioned at this time to aid in helping them to see Jesus in a more realistic way. It is my task, therefore, to, to assist my superintendent, the Reverend Silbert Prescott, in any way I can, by using my skills that God has given me and my talents to aid in this work of moving God's people forward. I do hope and pray that as I go forward in my ministry, that God will continue to put people in my path that will be able to help me in, in ways that will be phenomenal, mainly through prayer and interceding for the work of his church in his vineyard in Grenada. My dear sisters, you have heard from the readings of the people of God are called by him to serve in the power of the Holy Spirit, following the example of Jesus Christ our Lord. And in that fellowship of Christian service, you are now to be set apart for a particular ministry of seeking the lost, caring for the young, the suffering, and the lonely, counseling the perplexed, and equipping men and women for fuller service. Therefore, be constant in prayer and in the study of the scriptures. 
let God's word be both your rule and your inspiration. Let it be your aim to know Christ and to make him known to others. As ministers of the diaconate, you will uphold its honor and observe its discipline, so fulfill your vocation that others may be won by your example to follow him who came not to be served, but to serve. The congregation please stand. My sisters, before God and this congregation, I ask you, do you believe that you have been called by God to be a deacon in the Church of Christ? I do so believe. I do so believe. Do you now, in the presence of the Church, accept this trust and responsibility. I do. I do. Are you satisfied that the scriptures contain all that is necessary for salvation? And are you determined to instruct the people committed to your charge out of the same scriptures and to teach nothing that is clear to them? I am satisfied and have so determined by God's grace. I am satisfied and am so determined by God's grace. As you believe that you have been called to be a deacon in the Methodist Church, I now ask you to state clearly whether you believe its doctrines. I do. I do. And will you submit yourself to those whom the church shall appoint to have the rule over you. I will. I will. Will you be so diligent in prayer and in the reading of Holy Scriptures that you may both go and encourage others into maturity in Christ? I will. The Lord be my helper. I will, the Lord, be my helper. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, you have heard the solemn pledges of our sisters approved for ordination to the diaconate. Will you now, on behalf of the whole church, signify your approval for Greta St. Hill? Will you now, on behalf of the whole church, signify your approval for Anne Yard? Let us say together, Almighty, Almighty God. God who has given you the will, has also grant you the strength to perform these things and complete the work he has begun in you to the honor and glory of his name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us each pray to God before we lay hands upon send forth these, our sisters, to the work to which we believe the Holy Spirit has called them. Let us pray in silence. Receive the Holy Spirit for the office and work of a deacon. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the Holy Spirit for the work for the office and work of deacon in the name of the father 
the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, I present to you our newly ordained deacons.